Hello beautiful people on the internet, today we're going to do a random multiplayer match and I'm feeling kind of sneaky so let's do a let's do a small lakes oh well that is something I feel like playing some anti today and my opponent probably is also playing so they aren't cool well that's well that's new that's kind of cool so what are they playing 515 so that means that they didn't spawn in a corner they are upgrading their city so barter kiku something like that uh, I want to move you over here upgrade the city so they upgraded their city they move and what kind of thing gives them 600 points that is kind of weird let's uh, boost this warrior while we're at it uh, 620, 630. I don't know. What? Well, that's mean. Oh, that's really mean. Why? Why no village? And they found, they found a city. That's something. Don't I deserve a city? See, I did deserve a city. Now I can finally do the most impressive strategy in the world called riding, spamming hexapods, and just having a good old time. Because that is the way that you play this tribe. There's no other way to play this game other than just spamming hexapods. Do this, do that. Uh, I'm going for the bit of an economy play here. And I'm going to move the oh move this guy over here. We're going to train some hexapods. It's going to be a good time. We can take an explorer here because we are guaranteed to have land over here. You know what, let's take a workshop instead, uh, move you over here, uh, move you over there, uh, get this fungi cooking, get this hexapod cooking, and let's end the turn. Our opponent here is vibing with their three cities. They are upgrading, they are doing something, they, they have taken one explorer minimum. So that's something to keep note of. I'm trying to get better at just having insight on what my opponent is doing. Uh, what? I thought I was playing lakes, but yeah, no. This looks like a big old ocean to me. I don't know man, I don't think that that is the way that this is all supposed to be. I can't even really upgrade this city without getting too many technologies. Uh, let's, let's resign here, let's just take a look at how incredibly unbalanced all of this was. Let's open her up, okay, turn zero tribe. The what the heck? This doesn't look balanced at all. Let's try. Let's try again. This time, I want. I want some Simanti luck. Uh, by the way, if you like my content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button because it really helps me out. And there's a lot of cool things coming up uh, with the Polytuber Battle Royale, as well as some other content that I'm currently working on behind the scenes. And it's going to be absolutely amazing and putting a lot of effort into editing the larger videos. And it's going to be amazing. The uh, battle will be 
divide it into two sections because otherwise it will be over an hour long, which is just a tad bit too long. And I know that you guys don't have the attention span for that because nobody does. It's it, all of us have been ruined. I know how it is, but you know, we are going to have some nice live games here. And I'm just going to cut all of this out. Resting squish. That sounds more fair. See? They're probably also playing some anti. Nope. It's almost as if my prayers are getting answered. Stop playing some anti. I mean, what I'm hoping for a WeWork is that they just don't get to be a aggressive like the way they are it's it's just not fun the way that they play it's just so meaningless the the amount of aggression that you can put in this tribe it's just i don't know i don't know what to say about it let's put you over here that is okay well, that is an interesting fruit here. We can <laughs> we can tell that this player is not very experienced, but you know that's that's fine. Uh, let's get the fungi. By the way, I'm probably totally butchering all of these moves because I have no clue how to actually play some anti. But oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? Why? Why? This is so close. That is... That's honestly... That's that's just mean. If I'm very honest, that is just... That's just mean. I'm going to water over here. Just move him back. Just in case something were to happen to him. And... Do this. And turn. <laughs> I don't I don't think that this is a fair matchup. <laughs> I mean Sinksy you know they, they are fine. What did it just say? Warrior la What? Land. Oh. Oh okay. That is that is new. I, I have never seen that before. I can I can claim this village while while I'm at it. Let's move you over there. Move you over there. Get another hexapod. Get another hexapod. Yeah, no, this game is pretty simple. Just spam hexapods and win. I'm I'm kind of lazy, you know. My school just started. I'm trying to get better at this game called Polytopia. Well, I'm not actually getting any better because I'm just playing the best tribe. Wait, does it also... Ooh. Visual updates, guys. Visual updates. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible city. Can't even upgrade that or anything. Uh, let's take org, I guess. And let's put you over here. Boost ya, get some explorers cooking. What is all of this about? What? Well, this is kind of awkward. Uh, that means that they are almost definitely blocked off into this section of the map. Uh, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not even close to fair. Um, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. That's why we play this game, right? Let's move you over there. Are we gambling? I'm not gambling. Maybe I am gambling. This is why you don't gamble, kids. Gambling is bad. Let's do this, do that. Boost it and turn. I mean, how many cities do they even have? Pro probably two or three. Probably just two. If we take a look at 
this. If we take a look at this. Let's just... What? I don't think that that's the right investment, my friend. That is... <laughs> that is seriously funny. Uh... Good. <laughs> Fine. I'll... I'll do... I'll, what I don't need is ruin. That's mean. Uh... I guess we can capture this. We can... I guess I could just do this. And do this, and this, and this. And the turn. You know, this is exactly what I mean with just... Samanti is a fan, fun and balanced tribe. You don't need to actually think. Uh, and if you need to think, you just give up. Because... Well, that is just how this game works. I love the way that they're trying to go with Swordsman. It's not... It's not working. Uh, it, it's never working. Because Swordsmen are just... They've been nerfed. I don't, I don't think that that was the right call. In terms of, yes, they have to be the, the, the offensive unit, whereas the uh, whereas defenders are the defensive unit. Yes, I get that, but no, I don't think that that was the right call. Um, let's get some more economy going. Pick a workshop. We can move you... Let's not be aggressive because sometimes you just get some random road plays out of peoples on the internet here. And I'm not feeling that, so. Resting Sasquatch, I don't think that you are going to have a great day today. Maybe you are having a great day, but strategy. Swatsman. Uh, I could just do this, and then do this, and then do this, and this. Does that kill? Ah, too bad, so sad. Uh, what I should do is, oh yeah, they they resigned. <laughs> That's. <laughs> I mean, you're playing a bad tribe it's it's not like it was any use I mean they didn't even play a proper opening I don't think that lakes is the is the right map here I mean I played a game against Toby the other day which was a lot of fun but lakes is not really <laughs> I asked Toby he, he likes to play lakes I, I like myself some continents. Let's do let's do continents. Small continents, you know, why not? Let's do let's not play Sam Anti anymore. I don't like them. Maybe maybe Aquarion? Maybe Aquarion. Maybe Aquarion can uh, can be interesting. I don't know. I don't know anywhere. I'm, I'm, it's just, I'm just trying to come up with some, some form of content. It's like every, why am I only playing against high elo rated people today? It's, except for, wait, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, uh, sure. We are going with the mermaid, double mermaid opener. We're playing against some anti Probably, yes, looks like it. Uh, move over here, move over there, and the turn. I want to upgrade my cities with fruits. And of course I can't upgrade all of my cities with the fruits, but yeah, no. Sometimes you just gotta gamble. But playing against an anti, Ooh, they resigned. Easiest game of my life. Let's play another one. Let's... <laughs> hey, 
It's just... I don't know what I'm doing anymore. 42 though. Another around 1500 rated player. That's just... I don't know what I'm doing anymore with my life. You know what? Tiny continents. Aquarion. <laughs> is that is that something that I've ever played? No. Do I have any idea on how to play? No. Do I think that I can play? No. This is why I prefer recording after I actually play. I still like to play live games because they're just more quick pace, but <laughs> this is exactly the experience of playing a live game with a random opponent. You just... <laughs> you either get lucky or you don't. It's this Once again, what are all of these tryhards doing here? Let's let's see. What are they doing? 515? Probably Imperius or Kiku. Not too sure. Uh, we can We could, you know, walk over this, but it's no use. Um They What? Five five five? Well, that's new. What? Let's... Okay, I'm going for the Explorer this game. I, I think that I need it this time. I have no clue how to play this. I've never played this, this kind of setting. I mean, back in the day it used to be like Pangea, that you just had one one continent and it would just I thought it was weird but nowadays you get this even weirder thing which is just very small continents can I upgrade this no of course I can't let's just we get I get fishing here it's, that's fine. Let's take an explorer. Hello, Kiku. Hello, Kiku. Uh, what are they? What are they? What? I, I don't know. I mean, I can meet them all I want, but they are getting onto the water. How how does one get economy for that? I I seriously seriously don't know how and why that works. Uh, can we get org as well? Maybe just get org. Don't care. And I have no economy. <laughs> this is the this is the experience that we are all waiting for. Well, how are they going onto that town? Shouldn't that be a tile that is pretty useless? Nice, another ruin. Perfect. Uh, let's get another mermaid just to back it up. They can hit this, don't worry, but yeah, no, we can walk onto this ruin. Not sure how all of this is going to play out. I feel like I should have gotten archery or something. Maybe both of these ruins will give me something useful. I mean, farms look kind of good. What I'm trying to say is, Aquarium is not the greatest tribe. <laughs> Move over here, move over there. We could finally upgrade the city once again. And uh, maybe maybe next turn we, we can do something? I don't know. Pretty curious what the rune will give us. Maybe we can rush a crab. 
crab might be the, the way to go. Crabs can be pretty strong. Uh, let's definitely move this mermaid over here. That was that was all intentional. <laughs> I mean, look at the economy difference already. This city alone is producing as many stars as I'm getting. <laughs> it's just <laughs> for a tribe that are fish people. They have an awful economy on water rich maps. I I've gotta say that. That that's just the way it is. Oh they get another city? Why don't I get it? They have four cities. <laughs> that sounds about right. I need two good ruins or I'm just losing this. Swordsman. Swordsman. You see what I mean? <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm trying to say here? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? This is not fair. This is some bullshit. <laughs> I mean, the double swordsman. Usually, you know, that's... that's... okay. Okay. You, you are so incredibly cool. I want to be friends with you because you just uncovered that lighthouse. And I'm struggling here with my two cities and two swordsmen. <laughs> it's turn seven. I have five stars per turn. It's just... <laughs> oh, I hate this game so much sometimes. We, we need to... We need to nerf some tribes, or at least buff Aquarium, because this is not making any sense whatsoever. Hello. Hello. Nothing? I mean... Be my guess. Let's... Do this. Take a workshop. Next turn we can upgrade this city. It's not like it's going to achieve much. But if we take an explorer here, it will uncover at least... I mean, I could also just water it over there. That works as well. Linking up their cities. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You know, since I've moved to Belgium, it's it's been an experience, but not a good one. <laughs> I mean, I love the people here, but dang, a lot of things are just different. Uh, just move you over there, I guess. And uh, mm, I mean, be be cost efficient, right? And uh, yeah, let's end our turn. I mean, I could get a crab here next turn, so that's cool. That is. Actually, pretty impressive. I mean, it's not as strong as getting a turn a giant, but a crab can do some wonders. It can do some wonders. Oh, they are they are getting ready for a giant as well. But does a crab beat a giant? I don't think so. Maybe with some archers. It does, but... Ooh, a ruin. A ruin, you see. Let's get this crab cooking. Population growth. And the crab. And then we can upgrade this city. Because they don't have vision on that, apparently. 
which is kind of weird to me. And we can try to go for some ranged units. That'd be kind of cool. And then we can launch our attack on this city here, because both of these are kind of isolated. And I don't... They, they call it a veteran swordsman. I'm not really sure about all of this, what is going on. What is going on? I need some stars. And I need some archers. They could they could call them marchers. Just just you know. What what would be if you take a look at these? They're called they, they have amphibious tag tech next to them. Just like these. And this one says it's land. But what do dragons have? Are they are they are they are they different? What do they have? What do they have? Uh, we can get some return of investment on this. We can get our first archer here. Kind of leaving this these cities open somewhat, but yeah no. They are getting starfish. I'm pretty impressed by. Okay, well this is, well this is something. But mm, I, mean, I can move over here. I can. I can do stuff. I have archery, which is kind of cool. I'm thinking. I I I, I like archery. Archery is kind of underrated, oftentimes. Let's see what the room gives it. Rigged! This game is rigged. How much damage does that do? Just a couple. Not enough though. Uh, definitely going to hit that though. And get another one, get another one, get another one. If I can take the city, if I can take that city, are we still are we still good? Are they still good? Did, why do they have a bomber? That's that is highly uncool. But now I'm kind of forcing them to kill it with that, so that I can, you know, get value. Thank you for that free value. I love that. <laughs> and now they... This is kind of an interesting matchup. Like this. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. Except for the fact that I got three swordsmen instead of anything useful. I mean, they... What? 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 Huh? Uh, let's move in for a siege. Well, actually, let's also kill this, by the way. That thing is not allowed to hurt me. I mean... Next turn I can most probably siege. Uh, maybe I do need marine life. And I can actually get myself a crab or uh, a shark. Even though sharks are pretty damn useless, uh, at least now I can move on to the important things. And I can maybe maybe possibly assassinate this bomber which is kind of important that is pretty much important
It's actually, what? It's actually turning out to be a pretty interesting game this far. What are they going to do with this bomber? That bomber is the thing that is going to be really interesting. I mean, this juggernaut is also here, but... Do they have vision? Do they have vision on this shark? If so, good for them. If not, bad for them. <laughs> I mean, a puffer would be kind of funny. A puffer would be kind of funny. One, two, wait. One, two, three. Did I... I miscalculated. Dang. But I'm going to siege... No matter what. And I'm also going to get onto this city. Try to confiscate that. See an incredible amount of these stupid things and just trying to get a bunch of archers they can't really unseat us easily okay well that's that's a move you can make and they they get greedy they want that economy oh this Keku player Oh, this Kiku player. What? I mean, yes, sure, you have the economy to do so, but... Don't? Hello? Don't just do that. Stop throwing away your stars. I mean, I threw away my stars, but at least it achieved something. Forced a response out of them. I mean, I am getting a city. Mm. I have to whittle it down on the non like anyway, so let's just do it like that. Um. What kind of way am I going to do this? I guess like this. Just going to capture that. Break down their... Uh, their plans, so to say. And just... Get one shark. One shark. And a couple more mermaid archers. Let's end the turn. If I can chip down this uh, juggernaut, that would be kind of important. I mean, I know that this is going to happen, but... They don't have any support over here. And my capital is still somewhat safe. I mean, it's not perfectly safe. And they are moving in with a couple of bombers, but... That is kind of expensive, all of that, so... It's just really too bad that I can't have roads or anything to give this guy so much speed. I was thinking maybe a toll could boost the unit that is starting its turn on it for a bit now they're now they're moving in they are most definitely moving in and i have to be very very prepared for all of that it's kind of scary Err. 
how do I get another thing? And with a thing, I of course mean a useful thing. And with a useful thing, I of course... Why are they doing this? Why did I do that? That's kind of silly. It's kind of a noob move. I mean, I am a noob. Don't, don't get me wrong. You know, for somebody who calls himself a pro Polytopia gamer, I'm actually kind of bad every now and then. Strategy. I mean, I could get another archer. Let's just give me back this couple of stars per turn. I think this juggernaut is going to die. That is something. These bombers are annoying. They are very annoying. But, ooh, that's a mistake, right? I feel like that's a mistake. Oh, are they, are they, are they making mistakes? Opponent making mistakes for the first time in the life? I mean, that's not a big deal. I can kill that. Uh, I mean, if I can produce more units than they can kill... I mean, it's four to three cities now. And maybe I could somehow get some expensive things cooking up. Uh, I have to... I mean, I can get a bunch of hits on all of these. That's not a big deal. Let's uh, get an archer. Let's just get a mermaid over here because that doesn't even kill it. Uh, don't move this crab into the uh, vicinity anymore. Get a crab, a uh, shark. Sharks and crabs. They look alike, you know? That's just how it is. Uh, maybe an atoll or something could be coming in clutch? It's actually a pretty close game already. And I think I'm doing quite well. I mean... They can siege that, but one, two, three. I can also hit their bomber with this shark. Yes, they do get to kill my swords mate. I I like that. Still, swords mate, kind of cool. Hmm. I don't know about this warrior. Oh, they get another giant. But by the time that I get to, they get to use that. I should be. Well in the lead. Uh, this is also a free hit. On their bomber. And I can hit it again. And this guy... Oh. Well that's aggressive. It's going to die nonetheless. So nonetheless anyways. Somehow. Um, let's do this. Oh, that's a monument. Uh, I need some more support. 
I can kill this. I can kill this. I can hit this. How did I just assume that I had a free hit? Well, this way. And give me another archer. I mean, free hits, you know. Uh, Forestry, I can get another thing cooking. Uh, maybe next turn I can do that. What kind of... I mean, I'm just going to hit that and just move over here. Give me a free population as well. And let's end it there. I have to spread out my units kind of wisely, which can be kind of hard. They are healing this guy. Not too sure about that. Sure, you kill my shark. Not worried about that. I mean, scouts trading into archers is... Oh, that is definitely not the right call. Scouts trading into archers are not a good trade. This is not a good trade. I can kill this bomber, can't I? Oh, they are going to waddle away. They are a scaredy cat. They are scared. Well, they should be. I have to move back this mermaid archer. Uh, I can get a hit in on this guy. Uh, let's do this. And do this and try to kill this. That's fine. I need to get as many kills as I can. Let's get a shark here and then. Get some more archers, archers, archers. Still, next time, uh, next turn, we can still try to get another crap, but I think I've got this game pretty much locked down. Uh, I do need to worry about this juggernaut, though. That is kind of a problematic thing coming my way but if I can crap my way to victory one two three Brrr. one two that should be able to kill and then I can gain some more support from here. Just hit that. Mm. Let's move you over here. Let's uh, get a bunch of free hits on this and recover you. Oh, I can't get myself a thing over here. Maybe well, with waterways I can. But I don't need that yet. So how many stars is that? Uh, 12 plus 5, 17. 17 plus... That's 25 stars. I can do that right now. 
25 stars. Uh, I mean, I can... I can make that work. It's uh, just a matter of getting a bunch of these mermaids. I should be fine. I mean, they, they are playing to their outs currently, which is the right play, but I don't think that it is going to save them. Especially with us having so many archers. I mean, we are playing against a pretty high elo rated player, so... One, two, and three. Yeah, that should be able to get rid of this bomber for sure. That is really important because that is the way that they were having control over some section of the map. Uh, I can kill this. That's pretty important. And now it's just a matter of whittling down this guy. And get both of these. Take that city. And don't even let them try to siege it. I'm thinking. Yes, yes, yes. And... going to get myself this crab here so that they can't even siege it meaning that I can uh, keep my income for the turn pretty nifty play if I'm being honest and they finally get that oh possibly their final lighthouse oh well that is something to keep note of Yeah, they just, they just need to move in with their units now. But they are not going to get the city from me. I'm going to defend it to the bitter end. And I'm not going to let them take that city either. Oh, they are disembarking. Cool place, cool place. But their time is run running out, so... They, they've got to fasten... Quick, quicken up, you know? Uh, these guys are more important to... Just go over there. Hit you, hit you. Uh, one, two, three, four would that be. And defend... Defender? Did I just say defender? Well, that's not what I meant. I... Yeah, that should be fine. I think, I think I have this in the bag. I'm not a good Aquarium player, but I think that actually on pretty small maps, Aquarium is pretty, pretty playable. Even though I still think that they need a buff. Their economy is just garbage. I can unsiege, don't worry about it. I can unsiege. But they can't repair what I'm doing here. So it's too bad for them. Let's move you up here and just start whittling down this guy. And his 
stinking archers. Here, yeah, just kill that guy, it's more important. And I can unsiege doing this. Walk away. Get the mermaid. Just. I think that this was a pretty impressive showmanship of how to actually have some fun with Aquarium. I didn't think that they were capable of doing quite exactly what I just did. I was the first one to get a super unit, which is weird, especially considering the way you're playing against Keiko, which is actually a pretty strong tribe. But to think, to see how all of this turned out, I think for a very small map, the query on this plot is pretty stacked in terms of ways to deal with some kind of stuff. I mean, it's not the greatest tribe, definitely not, but it does offer some flexibility. Can I siege their capital? Can I siege their capital? I don't think so. I mean, if I do this and if I could then I can get so close so incredibly close I could have hit with this guy as well but it is so close uh, this shouldn't be a problem I mean, just do this, and this, this, and this. And this guy can come in. All of these archers can move in. Get some more different units. You know what? I can do a good forester here. Nah. Nah. Don't need it yet. Uh, just get a couple more amphibians and such. And we can end the turn there. As you can probably tell, this game is over. <laughs> it was a pretty long game. And I think that Keku could have easily won this. I mean, they are trying to siege still, but... <laughs> At this point, I... I should tell them to, to just scoop, give up, you know, because it's no use. You can't win anymore, so why are you even trying? You're just wasting both of our times. Uh, let me just cop this out and then we're going to discuss what happened and such. Yeah, okay, <laughs> they resigned. See, 1500 ELO rated player. Well, that was a pretty fun game uh, to close this all off. It was a pretty fun day with a couple of games and maybe I cut them all out, but I had a couple of interesting games here and there. And I think that it was pretty enjoyable. And if you enjoyed it, of course, like and subscribe. You can always do that. Check out the other videos as well. And we're getting pretty close to the Polytuber battle, which is going to be the event of the season and it will be kind of amazing so let me know in the comments down below what you think about all of that and i'll see you in the next one bye